Hi and welcome back. Today I started mocking up a design for a small anvil that I need to build. I need to make five of these and the workspace that I'm setting up is going to be outside so these anvils have to be large enough to be useful but light enough to be hauled in and out every time we want to set up the workshop and teach classes. I'm going to be making them out of this uh, T-shaped beam that I have. It uh, appears to be out of an elevator uh, shaft. The main part of it is hot rolled, but there is a machined edge that I assume you know, guided the elevator up and down the shaft. I have a couple of short lengths of this, so the dimensions are basically determined by how I can cut the pieces out of these rails. This is just a temporary fix so we can get to teaching classes. Once we have the uh, workshop you know, finished and the proper ventilation system, I'll be going through this exercise again and building proper heavy anvils that will just sit in one spot and never get moved again. So for now, this is what I've come up with. The front and back face of the anvil is going to be made up of two short sections of this rail and they are standing up vertically. I've cut two notches on the top of each one of these beams and that's going to allow me to insert a third piece that's going to form the face of the anvil. You can see how this arrangement has allowed me to take a pretty simple approach to making the hardy hole. I was able to saw in the two sides and then I just drilled out the material between those two lines and I was able to knock out that slug. The notch is wide enough to fit around my uh, grinding wheel on my bench grinder so I used that to smooth out the base of the notch. And of course the Pritchell hole is just drilled out. The horn is just made out of a short section of heavy round bar. I've cut it at an angle just to make the forging a little bit easier. This is just a small working horn that's going to allow you to shape small projects like hooks and keychains and that sort of thing. I'll be reinforcing the two working edges of the anvil by welding in a heavy section of flat bar that's going to run the entire length of the anvil. And then the final step is going to be to weld all of this to an angle iron base so the whole anvil will become one unit and easy to move around. The horn here is being supported by a magnet that's not part of the anvil. So I've estimated that the total unit is going to weigh well over a hundred pounds so that's going to make it very usable but again very light to move around. Hi, I'm Dennis and thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can contact me directly by emailing the address I have displayed here. If you want to find out more about me and what I'm working on right now, go to my website, dfintheshop.com.